Hi Gemini, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your continued support. It truly means the world. And for those of you that would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And for those of you that would like to donate to the channel, you can also do so on the link below. Before we start, I would like to bless both of my decks of cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see, whoop, let's see what your destiny card is, uh, which seems to have jumped out of its own accord. So we'll go with that one. It's face down. So I don't even know what it is yet. Um, yeah, so your destiny card, the overarching theme for the week ahead. <coughs> and you get, <coughs> bam, the fool. This is beautiful because it kind of gives you a fresh start. So in whatever your dealings are this week, expect to, um, to bump shoulders with somebody that you've never seen before, with somebody that is completely outside of what you know or who you know. The fool card always brings you a new thing, a new person or a new experience. Sometimes it brings you all three. It's almost like... The feeling that I get from it is that this week you're going to have a reset button. It's kind of like you get to start again. You get to start afresh. Something just kind of happens and you go, oh, okay. Yeah, that kind of feels, yeah, it feels right. It will feel right to you. And when you get the full card, it's always something or someone unknown. It's something that isn't known to you as of yet. But the full card always precedes some kind of change. It's kind of like the lighter side of Uranus. Um, you know, the Tower card would be the of Uranus, whereas the Fool card is kind of like the ta-da, surprise. Um, and it's always, you know, something that's really beneficial for you. So that's awesome. Let's see what the direction is, the context, how it shapes up or what the best way is for you to achieve that. And this week you get the Hierophant. This is really interesting. Um, <clears throat> for some of you, a new piece of information is about to come forward. Um, and the Hierophant seems to have followed you guys for the last, I'm sure it's like the last two, three weeks, which is really interesting because as a, as a card, as an experience, it represents the establishment, making things more official. But I kind of feel coupled with the Fool, this is kind of saying that some new piece of information is coming forward, some new piece of the puzzle, some new piece of, uh, you know, maybe not necessarily a secret divulge. I don't think it's something like that. I think it's something that's been overlooked. It's, it kind of feels like something that nobody nobody noticed, like a, and, you know, because sometimes tarot gets really literal, as I've said often. <clears throat> And the full card, you know, something that you couldn't see, something that you couldn't understand or anticipate. The Hierophant card, uh, you know, the establishment, something ruled, something regulated, you know, or a governing body of some kind. It feels to me like a piece of information that has been overlooked or a piece of information that has been left out comes forward this week. And from that information, you're going to be able to devise a plan or a, a plot, let's say, that's gonna be really beneficial for you. It also tells me that help is coming from an outside source, one that you do not know yet. This is not somebody that you know. And when I say that, I can't stress it enough. The full card always brings you somebody that you do not know. This is somebody outside. And the reason that you don't know this person is because whoever it is that's coming to you is going to change your lifescape in some way, shape or form. Like I said, the full always precedes some kind of big change. And the fact that you've got the Hierophant there, this is somebody that's going to change your life in, in an official capacity. It could be somebody that you meet in the course of your own work. It could be somebody that comes and gives you a piece of information and from that you go, bam, Eureka, whoa, I can do this, this and this and this. It could even be information that you hear in passing. So it might not necessarily even come into contact with you directly, but it will be information that you get nonetheless. As an example, if you work in, you know, service or, you know, as a receptionist or whatever, you might have to screen emails and stuff. So you're reading all of this and you think, well, okay, that's quite interesting because that works for my personal life. 
but you've got to forward that email on to your boss or to whatever. That's just a, one example of how this could play out, but there is definitely some piece of information that is coming your way this, this week that is going to change things. There is a new experience and a new person that is going to trigger something big in your lifescape, and it will be something that leads you on to your next phase. So you're gonna remember this week for quite some time to come, certainly for the next three to six months, I believe, um, you will remember this piece of information because it's gonna be quite vital for what shapes up for you in your personal future. So, <clears throat> I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance itself. Have an amazing week. Let me know how it shapes up for you. Take care and I'll see you very soon.